a relic have kindly supplied me this plate amplifier to do this review and build but to find out what more they offer please check out their website which is listed below hi and welcome to or back to the channel in this short video, we're going to be taking a look at the Arilic Up 2 Stream Plate Amplifier. Now this amplifier is specifically designed for those DIYers of us who want to incorporate an already built amplifier, music streamer, all in one system into a set of desktop or bookshelf speakers. Those of you who follow the channel will know that I've used the Arilic products before, and that being the actual 2.1 channel amplifier plate where I actually built a homemade boombox. Now if you want to have a look at that it's somewhere up in the description below there's a link to it um, because I will in the near future be incorporating this actual amplifier plate into a, another project. So if you don't want to miss that remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell. But now we're just going to take a quick look at how easy this amplifier plate is to set up what the functions of it are and whether it's going to be good for your project or not. So in the kit itself you get the main amplifier plate, the power supply and a USB cable. You've also got your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth aerials, the socket which will connect your internal speaker with wire attached and also some sticky back foam to go on the back of the amplifier plate for when you mount it. The only slightly disappointing thing is there's no remote supplied with it and I really think they could have supplied you with half a dozen countersunk wood screws. So taking a look at the amplifier itself, the front is constructed of metal and the whole unit does appear pretty well made. Now on the main side, you've actually got your volume stroke on off button, which is long presses for on, long presses for off, and it will also reset. You can also cycle through and the LED shows you what you're on, whether it's Wi-Fi, the auxiliary input, or Bluetooth. Now looking at this as well, you've got great to see a 240 volt, well it is here in the UK, power supply, so no power brick, it's all taken care of on the back. You've got a sub out, now that's excellent news. You've got your various USB input, and as I said, you've got an auxiliary input. Now the lovely thing with this is you could use um, this to connect up to your TV. So you could use it as a small 2.1 sound system um, in the end. You've also got obviously your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth antennas, or where you'd connect them, um, and your positive and a negative speaker which do actually have screws um, but they will accept banana plugs now my only small grouch is the weird thing is these appear to be on the wrong side compared to uh, what i'm usually wiring up and i think they're a little bit too far together so although they've got it very symmetrical i think it could have been done that maybe the um, speaker out sockets could have been close to side to one side or the other but overall it appears well made and um, let's take a look a little bit further at how you'd set it up download the full stream app either scan the QR code on the instruction leaflet or go directly to your Google Play or app stores once downloaded and the amp is powered on follow the on-screen instructions be patient at this time and ensure that your device is also connected to your 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi con connection as if not the amp will not connect to your Wi-Fi. Once you have everything up and running, you'll be able to rename your amplifier for easy recognition in the future. Now, every time you open the app, you should quickly connect to the amp and also have access to your streaming services. Now this amplifier obviously has Bluetooth capabilities as well, but as we all know the advantages with streaming via Wi-Fi is that once the stream has been started you can shut down the app and leave the room 
and your music will continue to play. So what are my thoughts on the amplifier plate? Well, personally, I think if you're looking to do a small speaker build and you want something that's gonna be fairly simple to wire up and be ready to go straight away, then I don't think you can go wrong. Check out the links in the description below and please don't be afraid to leave me some comments on your thoughts. And remember, if you wanna see that build that's gonna come up soon, do remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching.